A fire broke out in this house this morning at 221 Castle Frank Road. The fire started just before 6 a.m. Uh, and the firefighters say that the 911 caller who, uh, who called it into the firefighters was able to break through one of the windows and pull one of the occupants of the house to safety. Unfortunately, uh, there was one person who uh, died in the house uh, fire this morning. We don't know too many other details. The firefighters were trying to fight the fire from inside the house, but they had a backdraft when, when the superheated gases uh, ignited overhead and they had to retreat. The fire was declared under control a little after 6 uh, a.m. and then the, the um, first responders were able to go through the house and, and where they found uh, the one victim. Christine Hill lives on the street behind Castle Frank and uh, she was awoken by the, the fire sirens and um, she has a ring camera which captured the flames uh, on it. Christine said that uh, there's a, a Facebook group for the Glencairn area that identified the, uh, the occupants of the house as a, a man and his elderly mother. I was in the bathroom with the cats and we heard a weird noise so I thought oh maybe raccoon so I grabbed my phone looked at the doorbell camera and I'm like that's a weird light because it, it's black and white only yeah so I'm like that's weird so I went to the front window and I'm like that's a fire so I yelled at my husband to get up I started dialing 911 but I heard the siren so I stopped but the flames were like I said I thought it was one of the trees on fire the flames were that high. So I, a little while later, I came out and watched from the end of the street because they wouldn't let you come, but you couldn't see much. But even after I got back home till about 6.30, there was flare-ups. You'd see flames still coming up. And by 6.30, they had died down. I didn't see any more. I've lived in Glencairn for 48 years. Right. So maybe I might have seen them just Who were up. they? Do you know? Have, have... I did go through... The, yeah, I looked up the address, got yeah. the last name, went through Facebook, and I saw they're an older couple. Then someone, we have a Facebook Glen Karen page, and right. someone had posted that they heard through CBC that there was a fatality. Right. And yeah. we've heard it was the female. Oh, uh, no. And so that makes me very sad. That hasn't been confirmed by either police or the fire marshal's office. There's a fire investigator at the scene here today trying to determine the origin of the fire. I'm Blair Crawford with Post Media News.